Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday's Thought for the Day. The Nicene Creed moves on from Jesus' death to speak very simply of Jesus' resurrection. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. Again, this is an echo of an early creed in 1 Corinthians 15. The Apostle Paul wrote that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Peter and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also. There are many places in the Old Testament that speak of the Messiah rising, rising from the dead. So in Acts 2, on the day of Pentecost, Peter quotes from Psalm 16, verse 10. You will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. You will not let your Holy One see decay. Elsewhere, the Old Testament speaks of salvation coming after three days. So Hosea, chapter 6, verse 2. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us that we may live in his presence. Jesus' physical resurrection is a historical fact. He died on the first Good Friday. At then, as people did back then, counting that as a first day, Jesus rose on the third day, Easter Sunday. And Jesus' resurrection is proven both by the empty tomb and by Jesus' appearance to his disciples on many different occasions. They saw that he was no ghost. He ate and drank with them. And these disciples, they were so convinced that Jesus had risen from the dead, they began to publicly proclaim him as a risen Lord. They kept insisting on Jesus' resurrection, even in the face of persecution. So this was no mere wistful thinking on their part. And Paul himself, who had previously persecuted believers, where he was transformed by seeing the risen Jesus on the road to Damascus. Later, in Acts 23, he declared that I stand on trial because of the hope of the resurrection of the dead. So believing the resurrection of Jesus is foundational to the Christian faith. As Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 14, If Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith. He then adds in verses 16 to 17, For for if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Christ's resurrection guarantees our forgiveness. For it shows that Jesus' sacrifice for our sin has been accepted by God. Christ's resurrection also guarantees our future. For his resurrection is a pledge of resurrection and eternal life for all believers. And the resurrection proves that Jesus really is, who he said he was, God's powerful son. And wonderfully, you and I can know him now as our risen Lord and enjoy new spiritual life with him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Jesus' resurrection. May that make us joyful and hope at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Monday. See you tomorrow.